Hi guys! So I'm back. I'm so sorry that I've been uh, MIA, uh, but uh, I will tell you about it inside the video. But today I'm just going back to, into one of my into my I'm getting it back into my series, and this is Monster High we're going into. This is Amanita Nightshade, the ultimate frenemy rival of Clear Denial, and yeah, she has a cool, she has some hit. They have a bit of a history, and they are not the best of friends because yeah. I mean, yeah, she's that person. I'm gonna borrow this and this and this and this and this and this, and I'm not returning it. So she borrows on unlimited time, aka I'm keeping all of it. She is very, yes, selfish, self centered, and yeah, she doesn't care about anything except that everybody should adore her. So if you want to see how I do this Amanita Nightshade uh, look, inspired look, because it mostly is because I'm not painting my skin green. So if you want to see it, then keep on watching. All right, guys, let's get to it. It's been a while since I've done a tutorial, and especially when it comes to colorful ones. Now, I'm just gonna call correct. I have a little bit of a pimple scar sore right there, so I'm using my NYX Full Coverage Green Concealer. Just to call correct that. And I'm using my other Full Coverage Concealer in Alabaster, and yeah, this brush, you know it. This is the Deluxe Crease Brush by the Techniques. I need to get a new one because I can see a bit bad on this. I just love my Full Coverage. I just love my Full Coverage Concealer so much. Go away. Dark, high circles, bags, anything. I'm just going to use the... Just... Yeah. I'm using my usual routine, as you can see. I'm just going to take my damn beauty sponge and blend out the concealer. So how are you guys? Like, truthfully, how are you feeling right now? Write it in the, in the comments below. How are you feeling? Just, are you down with dumps? Are you feeling great are you just everything is going so smoothly for you just anything health wise feeling wise whatever now that was that and then for foundation i'm taking my next tool control drop uh, conceal not my conceal foundation in light ivory to match obviously i've been out in the sun i'm going to take yeah maybe 14 drops i Think so. I want a bit full coverage today. Something like that. I'm taking the damn beauty sponge. The sponge. I actually took 16 drops. I just wanted that. I'm starting right there. Over. No. You probably wonder why haven't I uploaded in so so long, like a month. I've actually been really, yeah. I've hit this. I hit a slump actually. I'm just. I was not feeling well, and it was like a depression actually. So yeah, you're watching someone that actually, that suffer from depression, but oh well, you can't help it once you uh, once you suffer from it. You can't help it except for thinking positive thoughts to get out of it. So yeah, that's how I've been dealing with it. Lack of inspiration for making videos and just downright. A depression. I was just in a black hole. I can now finally see the light at the end of the, that tunnel. I've really crawled out from nothing. Uh, there we go. A little bit here. Actually, I forgot to. I totally forgot this. To prime my face. So if you wanted to prime your face, you can do that. I just completely <laughs> forgot about it. Completely forgot. But hey, something that happens. Once this, and it's been so hot, so I literally worn syrup. Yeah, literally. Yeah, nothing because it's been so hot. I just knew that it would melt off because I don't have a setting spray and I need to get one. Now, while the foundation is sinking in, sinking in, I'm just going to do my brows, and I'm doing that off camera. And for this tutorial, I am obviously using my. Uh, BS Cosmetics 88 Matte Eyeshadow Palette and also the Shimmer Palette, so you, if you have them, then yay! And for Amanita, uh, yeah, she has 
purple brow so I'm just going to use these two here and may just maybe I'm going to dig into this one and I'm using the brow brush by by Real Techniques and then I'm going to set the brows with the NYX Control Freak um, eyebrow gel so I'll be right back their brows done I'm so sorry about the exposure keep the uh, figuring out all of this oh, lights just changed great so now I'm just going to set I'm using my NYX HD finishing powder and translucent I'm first using my setting brush to set my under eye chat 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 and also on the light itself and then for the rest of the face I'm using my Real Techniques powder brush it is so good chat 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 As the base done, now I'm just going to do the right side of my face and then I will be back. There, right side done. Ah, I free handed these leaves because after all she has a little bit of leaf thing going on with her. I'm gonna need it. So let's just start by priming. I'm taking my NYX HD eyeshadow base. You know how much I love this stuff. It's like one of those few eye primers that doesn't crease on me. It's heaven. And then we start with the shadows. I'm taking my crease brush by BH and I'm taking this taupe color for my transition color. You can never go wrong with a transition color. Never ever. It's so important to have that yeah, taupe or whatever color you have for transition with it with whatever look. It is so important to have it. Because then it helps blending out the colors you're using. I'm also going to put it on the lower lash line because we're also going to add color there. I'm taking my shading brush by Real Techniques and I'm taking this screen. It is so vivid as you can see on this eye. It is so vivid. So vivid. I'm just going to press this on. The, sh the shading brush, brush, I would say, it's like a pack of brush. You can just pack the shadows on. Oh, it's just starting to rain a bit so lovely in this heat. And actually, just before I, I ate lunch, I'd just been out shopping for a little extra, and it started to rain. As soon, it was just right after I had gotten home. Oh, I didn't get wet. So good. There. Now I'm taking my blending brush by BH and I'm just going to blend the transition color with the green color. And then to deepen the crease, I'm taking the shadow right next to that green I just took and on a base shadow brush, just on the tip of the brush. Just going to place it in the crease. To darken it up. And for just making it a bit more dark, I'm taking this dark deep green also on the tip of the brush and applying it on top. feel like I'm turning into poison ivy. <laughs> well more like her daughter because we all know with we all know poison ivy's colours. They are green and red. Uh, I'm gonna use a nice shade. She's green and purple. If it was the DC universe, I bet I'm gonna need a nightshade would be the daughter of poison ivy. And then for the lower lash line I'm taking the fur this green colour again that I used for the first in my crease. I need to the lower lash line. I'm taking the blending brush by BH and just blend, 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 blend. And I'm taking a clean base shadow brush and I'm taking this shimmer green from the Shimmer Palette by BH. The eight one. Because I bet that Ananita, she loves her shimmer as well as clear denial. Just apply that on. Ugh, 
So we have that sheen of shimmer. Mm, look at that. Stunning. The highlighter, I'm taking my Makeup Revolution highlighter palette in um, Highlighter Lights and I'm taking this purple purple highlighter on a angle shadow brush by BH applying that to just here arch of the brow 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 bone just like that oh and then also on the inner corner I'm just packing it packing it all because it's just so good oh Move on to eyeliner. I'm taking my NYX, what is it, matte liquid liner in black. I'm lining my top lash line and winging it out just a bit. And then um, I'm taking my NYX light on eyeliner in jet black. I'm lining my inner rims. And then for, then I'm just gonna freehand these uh, leaves and I'm gonna show you that and maybe just in a time lapse where I'm like, using my. Uh, cream eyeliner by Elf in Black and using my fine liner brush for that. And then I'm also going to curl my lashes and apply my Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara. I can't go nowhere without waterproof mascara. So I'll be right back. You can, if you like, put on some false lashes, but I'm not going to do it because yeah, I don't have any glue left. And yeah, the lashes I have are pretty, yeah, pretty old, so I need to get some new. Now I'm just going to freehand the, these, um, what is it, um, leaves from now, and then I'm also gonna fill them in with obviously eyeshadow, but you're gonna see that. So now I'm going to time lapse, ta uh, time lapse this. like that. Oops, I'm sorry for the light, but that's how you do it. Just steady hand and nice and just don't rush it because if you rush it then you're gonna make mistakes and it's not something that we want. I'm going to take the Pixel Point Eyeliner Brush on taking the same cream that I started out with and I'm just going to fill in the petal. Yeah, the, the leaves, not petals. Petals on flowers. <laughs> Just fill them in. If you want to go all out as Amanita and have green skin, you can use some. You can use face paint, obviously. I have face paint, but it would just take too long. I'm just, I'm just doing it as I've always done with this series, just showing it on my normal skin color. There. Now we're completely done with eyes, and now we're just going to jump into the skin. I'm taking. One of my blushes by e.l.f. and this is in the color Mellow Morph. I'm keeping it in the purple pearl family. I'm taking my blush blush brush by Real Techniques and applying it. Obviously the girls are, uh, from Monster High, they are teenagers. They don't have any contour. Not, they don't have that sharp line as teenagers. Well, it, it looks much better actually. And for highlighter, you guessed it. I'm going to use the same highlighter I used on my eyes from the Highlighter Lights palette. And I'm just going to apply that to my cheekbone. Top of the cheekbone it is so beautiful. Top of the cheekbone. And down the middle scratch. I want that gorgeous highlight. And cube as well. Yeah, that's the tip of the nose. And then for lips, she has purple lips, I'm Anita. So I'm taking one of my eyeliners by gosh, and this is in the color purple stain. And it is so sharp, so let's just put this on. Now the eyeliner is pretty shiny, so I'm, t I'm just going to take, uh, yeah, which color? I'm to going to take this purple right there that we used using my ring finger for that. Just dabbing that on. 
And now we're done. All I need is actually just a purple wig, but I don't have that, unfortunately. And some purple contacts, but I don't have that either. So we're just gonna deal with my blue eyes and my red hair, <laughs> which it is. Which is turned into. But this is Amanita Nashi from Monster High. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm actually so glad I did this vlog and I'm getting so into the into this creative mojo right now. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to subscribe, comment, and like this video if you liked it. It really helps me a lot. And then you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and on my blog and Snapchat. And then I will see you in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.